guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are doing very, very well. So, in the last time I did the bite of Bin it was the review on the Morphe 350 palette. If you haven't checked it, make sure you check it out. So, the item you guys picked for me to review next is this powder foundation from Bare Minerals. So I've had this powder foundation since last year if I'm honest, but I've not been using it as a powder foundation, I've actually been using it as a finishing powder. And to be honest, I love it as a finishing powder, I really, really do like it. So I thought I might as well do a powder foundation routine today, I've never done this before. I thought I might as well put this for the test and actually use it as a powder foundation instead of the finishing powder which I have been using previously. So just in case I haven't mentioned, this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation. So the colour that I use is Hazelnut, which is also in the colour 25. So when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has a mirror on the top, it has the powder, and at the bottom is a sponge, but I've clearly misplaced my sponge. So when you do get the foundation, it, it comes with this protector on it, um, which you're going to obviously whip off. So this is Hazelnut. And this is truffle, so that you guys can have a comparison on colours. I feel like you can see it better once I tilt it down. You guys can see, I've already done my eyes. I use the Morphe 350 palette. The lashes that I'm wearing are from Ardell. Eyebrows, I use an NYX pencil to fill it in. I'm using my favourite primer. This primer is from Kiko, which is now discontinued. I've mentioned to you guys how frustrated and upset I am about this, but... You guys were lovely enough to suggest a lot of good primers, which I'm yet to try. This is weird because I've never used a powder foundation before, so I'm going to have to start off with my concealer. I would have corrected if I needed any correcting. So today I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I hope this can go really, really wrong, but I have high hopes. So to blend out these highlighted areas, I'm using my Real Technique sponge. So I'm going to use, this is from e.l.f. to make it damp. So then I'm just going to blend this all out. Honestly, this can be one of the most longest things ever when it comes to makeup. So now that's all done, I'm going to set these highlighted areas. I still love using the Ben Knight Topaz powder. Not banana, Topaz. So I'm going to leave this on my face for a bit so that it bakes and set in for a little bit. Dust it off and then put my, my foundation everywhere. And then I'm going to contour and then tone it down again. But yeah, you guys will see. So I feel like this is baked for a while now, so I can just dust it off. This brush that I'm using is from Real Techniques again. Like I've mentioned already, the foundation colour that I'm using is Hazelnut number 25. And what I'm going to use is also a brush by Bare Minerals, which is called the Core Coverage Brush, which is a very dense brush. And I'm going to use this now to apply powder foundation. So I'm going to pat it and then literally swirl it into my skin. So I'm going to start off with under my eyes. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> Oh, like I mentioned already, I've only used this as a finishing powder, but it does feel nice on the skin. I'm liking this. You know, you need to always make sure you give love to your neck. You don't want to forget your neck, otherwise you're going to have that obvious line of demarcation. I hate that so much. Just literally a dabbing and applying this foundation. This brush is so soft. Oh, I may become a powder foundation girl, you know. This is nice. I really like the way this looks. Ah! So today I'm using this palette to contour. This is Tarte's slash Shayla palette and I'm going to use this dark one to contour. I'm likely going to contour my nose. Next, I'm using this brush, which is by Ambi Rose. That same contour powder to contour. The 
The blush that I'm going to use today is by NARS, one of my all-time favourites. This is Exhibit A. Shocking red. You're probably like, what the hell? That's so bright. Trust me, don't sleep on this. Just a nice flush of colour. Just, ooh... So for highlight today, I'm going to use Le Bronze. So this was in the Artist Couture slash Jackie Aina collaboration. This highlighter is so rude, it's just blinding. Normally when I put on my foundation and I would highlight and contour, I like to add a finishing powder again, just for it to be, you know, all put together and the highlight isn't too much and the contour isn't too much. But I feel like I don't really need to. Maybe the excess on my brush, which I used earlier, I'm just going to use that to just blend everything in together. So I'm not even going to add any product or any more foundation. Honestly, guys, I, I'm loving this foundation. So I'm going for a purple lip today. I feel like I haven't had a purple lip in a long time. This is Current by MAC. Um, one of my favourite purpley lip liners. So today for my lips, I'm going to use a liquid lipstick. This is Brexit by Ambie Rose. But yeah guys, this is the finished look with this powder foundation. This foundation feels light. It doesn't feel heavy. I feel like I've got a great colour match. What do you guys think? You think? I Honestly, right now, I, I don't have anything negative to say. I love the feel of this foundation. It feels like I haven't got anything on. Like, I probably would forget and go to sleep with this on my face. I'll be back in a few hours to give you guys an update on how this foundation is keeping up. I will not be retouching this foundation so you guys can see roughly how long it holds up for. Um, yeah, I'll be back to let you guys know my final thoughts. I'm tired. I am ready to take off my makeup. This is how my foundation is holding up after eight hours of wear. And you can clearly see the oils are finally seeping through out of the foundation. You know, naturally throughout the day, I would have obviously touched up. My skin is just so oily. I, don't, I just... As usual, my nose is always the part that gets oily. My T-zone area normally above my brows gets oily too as you can see it is oily and for those that do ask or do leave comments yes i put my primer everywhere including my brows but considering it is eight hours this has been on my face with no touch up i don't think it actually looks that bad i expected it to look worse i would have obviously topped up throughout the day if i was not doing this experiment slash review for you guys what do you guys think though would you give this a go? Would you try it out? Do you guys think this is a yay or do you guys think this is a nay? But anyway, I think I'm actually going to give this foundation a because I love the way it feels and even though I do look oily, I'm not my oiliest, <laughs> but I definitely love the fact that it's lightweight yet it gives me a full coverage without feeling like I have cake batter mixture on my face i will rate this foundation a buy it so yeah i would definitely recommend this foundation i will absolutely love it if you guys leave your favorite foundation in the comment section down below but yeah anyways thank you guys for watching speak to you guys later bye